Here he comes then. He looks very pumped up here riding in. He'll be opening up his account. The former Duotone teammate of Aaron Hadlow now flying Cabrina, starting with a double loop board off back row. It must have been a double loop, Ruben. I think it was a single loop. You think it was a single? I just yeah. presumed it these days. Let's well, have a look at the replay. He had his hand on that backhand of that kite for quite some time. There goes one. Yes, you're right. Sorry, Ruben. Yeah, it wasn't that high. It was not what he was looking for. Um, right. And uh, yeah, I think he's going to try harder in the next attempt. Let's see, Aaron. Whoa. On the bit bigger. Double back roll kite loop board off. And uh, he's stomping it. So getting the yeah. score on the board. And this is where it's nice to see this data. So it's a couple of meters more height. What uh, do you think this will score? Well, but personally, I feel it should score more than a 6.07. Exactly. Um, we can see from the surfer data that it was a little bit higher. So let's see what the judges reward these riders yeah, with. I was going to say 6.5, but a 6.63. 6.63. So Aaron Hadlow getting on the, a nice start here. He's going to be up against the king of the air winner. Two king of the air champions yeah. on the water right now, Ruben. Yeah, this is absolutely... Oh, look at the control in this trick. A nice uh, doobie loop board off for... Uh, Lorenzo Cassati with an added rotation. 14 so, meters that time, Ruben. He really connected one, on the way up. Two, and then an added rotation. So three forward spins while taking the board off and looping the kite, landing it super clean and, uh, and confident. Here, Aaron Hedlow takes it to the skies with a nice preload pop. Just a mega loop laid back roll and a board off and extra rotation on the way down, covering some nice distance and uh, landing it clean. I loved how long Aaron had the board off his feet there. We see that from the likes of Edgar Ulrich. Just look how long he was comfortable floating through the air. He's he took it been, off a bit late. He's always, yeah, yeah, you could argue that. He's always been a master of board offs, Aaron. He's comfortable with the board off of his feet. Oh, he's diving forward and taking the board off for that contra loop. Three rotations, four rotations. Are we going to, yeah, four rotations with a contra loop and a board off. So absolutely nice one. And what, what was the height on that, 17? Look how big. It was big. I think the contra loop was a bit later. In other you could almost see him wait for the right time. But the height there, the height was really impressive with that. Edging, going hard. Also for the boogie. Tic-tac. Boogie board spin. No, it was not a tic-tac. Tic-tac is when you grab it by the fin and then flip it around and grab it by the handle. Sorry, boogie board spin. Exactly. Cheers, mate. That's okay. Some nice height. Who would have thought Aaron had these moves? Yeah. You know, well, people, yeah. I mean, we, you do. We do. We see this a lot when you ride with him. But he's really showing the rest of the feet here. That he's well comfortable. We can only talk to you about what we see on our screens. And right, that wasn't the best oh. takeoff. You could just see it. He got a bit too grippy on that edge sometimes. Sometimes your fins can dig in there, Ruben, right? And it just digs in. It doesn't give you the takeoff. Just look at his takeoff here as he went up. It just didn't release... Uh, in the way that he would have liked. I and then think. all you can do is just float down safely and uh, try again on your next attempt. If you've got some attempts left, this was his fourth attempt. What was that? I was watching the scores. Let's go for a replay for Aaron's move here. Contra loop. Yeah. Two, two spins. Oh, and another, oh, another one, <laughs> yes, uh, dealing with it. <laughs> How did we miss that? Extra love to you, wow, so. Wow, what a move for Aaron. Now we're getting a bigger picture of how things are at the moment. 0.61 currently separating these two riders. See Lorenzo Cassati preloading, popping, taking it to the skies with a double back row board off, and also that signature extra spin, spinning three times in this trick uh, in the back rolls. So... If this was the backhand, which I feel it was yeah. the backhand, so he's upgrading one of his previous moves. He's already got a kite loop back roll board off scoring a 6.07, Ruben. So we expect yeah. that, I think, to be pushed out. Whereas uh, I'm curious to see what Aaron is going to bust out. Yeah, me too here. Yeah. I think he uh, will he start to double. He's got the power. From right foot forwards. Oh, almost onto the beach there. He's going a massive contra loop board off with a nice rotation there. Was there a rewind? And then the Was clean. there a rewind? No, Ruben? no rewind. Okay, I want to see. There we go. He's riding right foot forward. He's got. Did he go in the back roll? Uh, two back rolls. Yeah, he did end up in uh, the back roll. So that's a that's a move. 
I haven't seen so nice. much of from Aaron. Aaron seems to have an answer back at the moment for Lorenzo Ooh. Cassati, and it's only 0.8 in this. Aaron Hadlow, the former five-times world champion, is giving him a real run for his money. The current Red Bull King of the Air champion up against the multiple former Red Bull King of the Air champion. Ruben, this is a real highlight of a heat and a wonderful heat. Yeah, what a heat. Aaron is uh, twice the age of uh, here, Lorenzo Cassati. So it is uh, great to see the new generation pushing the old generation to uh, to the next level. And here, Lorenzo Cassati stomping another beautiful move. Let's uh, go into the replay here. Po preloading, popping, diving into that front spin. Taking off the board with the front hand, so looping the kite backwards and controlling that landing. Well, this is a great heat, Ruben. He's going for the double. Oh, no, just a boogie board off. That's not going to... Oh, oh, what? Oh, now we got a problem. Oh, now we... <laughs> <laughs> I think it wasn't wrapped. I think it was wrapped. Aaron did it wrapped and then turned around. So it's a doobie board or uh, a mega loop. Yeah, he, this is wrapped. Oh, this, this, is, is wrapped. this is nuts. Aaron Hadlow stepping up now. Can you believe it? Of all the people we haven't thought about oh. <laughs> that knows how to land things backwards on, it's flabbergasted. Absolutely bamboozled is Lorenzo Cusati here. Here's Lorenzo Casati. He's just seen that incredible move from Aaron Hadlow. Can he do it? That's not going to be high enough for oh. me. There's lots of board spins in that one, Ruben. But I don't think I, he's shaking him up here. Aaron Hadlow has sent a message out here to Lorenzo Casati. This could go down as one of the best one, comebacks two, in history. Three and a board spin in there. So a triple back roll kite loop with a board spin. Uh, unfortunately, crashing the landing there. He's got a 6.3, and I think that should boost Aaron that going out. right foot forward. What is he going to do? A mega loop KGB, is it? He's oh, gone. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he, he wanted to go, go for it. He oh. wanted to go for it. What goes on in that mind? Holy moly. So Aaron Hetlow uh, went for the back roll kite loop, and then mid-air, here you see he's etching. He's rotating backwards, looping the kite. And at this point, he wanted to unhook and pass the bar to, uh, behind his back. But unfortunately, he couldn't make it. But that would have definitely sealed the deal for Aaron Hetlow.